Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel, Take Two on Boy Cosmetics Girl Power Water Marble. <laughs> <sighs> I uploaded this, and um, for whatever reason, the audio did not upload, so we're going to do it again. I am starting off with my bullseye with all of the shades from the Girl Power Collection, the Neon Thermals, and you saw me turn in the cup there. Sometimes that helps spread those rings out just a little bit more, you know, in case they start getting stubborn. But these really water marble nicely. But I'm trying to get so many rounds of those colors into that cup. So I'm going to draw up to the top and then down to the bottom with my little toothpick. And we're going to do my favorite design. A little zigzag. I started off trying to do them very small and that's what's on my thumb. They were just a little too skinny for my liking so I decided to go a little fatter on the rest of the nails so that you know I could get I don't know more of the color to pop bigger bold stripes you know. And I did run this one this is real time this is not sped up like I normally do. I've got my fingertips already with some polish and some latex. This is some more of that recycling, that gel manicure with the white polish. And I have dipped in. Now I'm going to go in with this toothpick and clean up some of that excess. If you have trouble getting it to, you know, all clean up, sometimes you just blow a little bit on the water and it helps dry that polish up a little better so that you can get it all out of there. Cause you don't want to go through this much trouble and then mess up your manicure with something floating in that water. Being a little meticulous here. And here we go. I had a bubble, so I'm re-dipping. I pulled up, it popped, I'm re-dipping. And then there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get that cup out of the way. I'm going to run this water marble tool around this design and break that seal between my nail and my latex and the polish. And I'm gonna grab my handy dandy little tweezers and get this latex off. I like to do this as soon as I've dipped. Um, you know, a lot of these polishes dry really fast and then when you finally do get around to going to take it off, they, they just kinda bust up and you get little bits and pieces everywhere. There we go. That one is done. Now, this next one I have sped up 1.25%, <laughs> and I'm going to increasingly get faster with these. Um, you know, when, it, when I'm recording mar water marbles, I've got some people that want me to show it all, show me dipping all five fingers. I've got some people that are like, oh, I'll just do one or two. So I figured if I showed you real time and then speed it up a little bit for the next ones then, you know, maybe I'm making everybody happy. I know that's impossible. You can't make everybody happy, but we are making an effort. I do love me some water marbling, and if I had more time, I would do them more often for sure. But when you've got polishes like this that just beg to be water marbled with, <laughs> you just want to break them out and play. And I have been playing with them. I like bright colors like these. I like thermals. I like water marbling. So this is like heaven on earth here, y'all. And I'm doing the same design on all the nails. Wiping off that toothpick in between on my little yucky paper towel. But as you can see, these aren't drying too fast. I'm not having any trouble manipulating that polish. It's not sticking or dragging or anything. It's just beautiful. Just These are beautiful for water marbling. And here we go. We're going to dip another nail. Just line it up and dip. And here we go. I am blowing on the water. You can kind of see it moving. It just gets it to dry faster. There we go. And I know a lot of people don't like water marbling because of the mess, but for me, it's all fun and games, so I don't look at it like, you know, like it's a mess. 
Now here we go. We're going to speed this one up one and a half times. And you can see I'm getting fast. Woo, she's screaming fast. <laughs> And I do plan on playing with these some more. I haven't tried a gradient with them yet. Um, that's kind of next on my list. And I will have information down below for you to find the Boy Cosmetics Girl Power Neon Thermal Collection down below. Um, as well as information on their $500 giveaway. They are running a contest and um, the prize is just an insane $500 and I know us nail junkies could find lots of ways to spend $500 no I could <laughs> but I will have all uh, at least a link to their um, you know giveaway information or I will try to put as much of it as I can down in the description box for you but if you've been on Instagram here lately in the nail community these polishes are getting a lot of attention and as they should you know they're beautiful polishes they're um, you know they're doing an amazing giveaway I don't know that I've ever heard of anybody doing a giveaway like this so um, of course I haven't, I haven't seen all the giveaways out there but this is the, the, the most extravagant one I've ever heard of there we go and another beautiful water marble and this one I have sped it up of 1.75 so we're almost lightning fast like like wicked fast now if I did it this fast I would water marble all the time because I could getting that mess cleaned up off the top again and almost time for the reveal here we go here we go last one dun, 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 dun. and I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of cleanup with my acetone and cleanup brush um, I did end up kind of bumping the pinky on the cup or something or I had a bubble or something so I do have a little bit of smudge on the tip of that one but I'm okay it's okay it's still a very very beautiful manicure and since I have that gel polish on you know I get to wear this for a couple of days and then remove the water marble part of it and put something else on top of it because I'm using non acetone remover so lovely thing about this gel polish I'm gonna top this one with some Sush Vite it's a pretty wild looking manicure There's like little orange flames right there near the tips. <laughs> I like it. It's been a while since I've used such feet, so I thought I'd break it out and give it a go. So we, there we go. That is my final manicure. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And that is it for today. So thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.